You're not promised tomorrow. The Bible says that our lives are nothing but a vapor. That means one day you're here and one day you're gone. You're not promised tomorrow. See, we get old. This body that we're living in, it gets old and it ends up to dying. And my friend, what happens after this body dies is judgment. And without the saving grace of Jesus Christ, my friend, I am warning you today that you are going to step out of this earthly realm and you will step into the realm of eternity and you are going to bust hell wide open. And today we are pleading with you today, don't go to hell. You got a chance, my friend. You are still alive. There are many people right now that is in hellfire that is pleading to have another chance. But the Bible says there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. They don't get no chance. They died rejecting Jesus. You are still alive, my friend. You still got a chance to come to the mercy seat of God. And I am pleading with you today, my friends, don't cast off the day of mercy because very soon you will be standing before the judgment, sir. Come to the mercy seat of God while you are still alive. Come to Jesus, my friends. It's only the blood of Jesus that can sanctify you, ma'am. It's only the blood of Jesus that can wash away your sins, ma'am. God today is saying, come to him. Come, let's reason together, he says. He says, although your sins, they are like scarlet. He says they will be white as snow. Although they are like wool, or he will make them like wool. But you must be willing to come. He will wash away your sins. He will make you white. He will sanctify you. He will make you new on the inside, but you got to be willing to come, my friends. If you reject Jesus Christ, you are going to face God's rejection for all of eternity. And we are pleading with you today. Come to the mercy seat of God. He can heal the emptiness. He can heal the brokenness. He can put together broken relationships. But you got to be willing to come. You got to be willing to come to Jesus. He extends his blessing to you if you are willing to come. If not, you will be cursed. And when you die, you will step into hellfire, my friends. And today, while it is still day, we are pleading with you. Come to Jesus, my friend. Come to the Lord Jesus. Put the cigarettes down. God can deliver you from that. God is a God of deliverance. The Bible says, who the Son of Man sets free, they are free indeed. Do you want freedom, ma'am? Come to Jesus. Do you want to be set free, sir? Come to Jesus. Do you want a new heart? Come to the Lord. Do you want to be forgiven for your sins? Come to the Lord Jesus. He will lift the burden of guilt. He will lift the shame off of your chest. But you got to be willing to come, my friends. If not, you're going to die. And God wants all of you to know that when you die without the salvation of Jesus, you're going to hell. There's no getting around it. You got to come to the Lord Jesus. You must enter through the narrow gate, that narrow way that leads to life, and that narrow way comes through Jesus. You must get off the broad way that leads to destruction and give your life to Christ. If not, my friends, you are all going to bust hell wide open. And we are pleading with you today, my friends, that the Bible says it's appointed once for man to die and then after that the judgment. All of you are going to breathe your last breath one day and you will answer to the God that created you. And you might be able to ignore him today, but you won't ignore him forever. You will see God, sir. You will see God, ma'am. And while it is still today, give your life to Jesus, sir. Because there is death and there is judgment. Be willing to come to the Lord Jesus. God is calling out to people in this day, my friends. Judgment is on the horizon. The axe is at the root of the tree. And if a mankind does not produce a lifestyle of repentance, they will get chopped down in the judgment. 
God is going to call all your secret sins into judgment on that day, my friends. And there will be no excuses. And we are pleading with you today. Jesus Christ died for all sin. He died for the fornicator. He died for the idolater. He died for the sodomite, the homosexual, the drunkard, the thief, the covetous, the extortioner, the reviler. He died for sinners so that sinners can come to a place and find redemption. But my friends, if you are not willing to turn away from sin and turn to Jesus and realize that you have broken the laws of God, you are going to stand before Christ, an unrepented sinner, and God is going to judge your life and you're going to go to hell, ma'am. And this is the message today, sir, don't go to hell, come to Jesus. Jesus! Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ. We live in a God-rejecting world, ma'am. People do not think about their soul. They just live for the here and now. They just go through life eating and drinking. They don't think about standing before a holy and righteous God. See, the world will bring you into this type of deception where you think you'll live forever. And before you know it, you go through life and you die rejecting Jesus and you go to hell because you die without the salvation of the Lord. My friends, the Bible says this is the condemnation, that the light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. This is why people don't come to the Lord. They love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. They are in love with sin. And my friend, if you can't come to this place where you recognize that you need salvation from the Lord, you will die in your sin and you are going to be judged by a holy and righteous God.